What's up, dudes? Go fishing, all right? Listen up. <clears throat> so, hey, I want to, while I drive, I'm gonna, I'm actually heading over to Newport. Um, I'm gonna go do some surf perch fishing. So if that's what you're into, or if you're curious about it, don't go away, because I'm gonna show you what I do, what I like to do to catch surf perch. Uh, hopefully we get into a couple, but I'll show you the way I try for them. And if we get lucky and a little bit of auto magic, I'm gonna catch a couple. So there you go. Hey man, glad you guys made it. It's a little bit, took a little while to get here. Stopped at the uh, bait shop, tackle shop to get a few extra things. I'm here now. Come join me. I'm gonna sh I, uh, I decided to put a different reel on my um, my surf perch rod. So I'm gonna show you guys the start to finish, how to set it up, and then we're gonna catch some fish hopefully. I'm glad you guys are here. Appreciate you watching. So I decided I was gonna use this, uh, this a super slick line that I got. I'm gonna use this for my um, my surf perch rod. I've got it on a, a C40 Simar made by Akuma. I know I talked some trash about Akuma once in a while. I don't think it's as nice of a reel as other reels, but it's not a bad reel. And for what I'm gonna use it for, this is gonna work just fine. So let me get this uh, set up on this rod. Normally what I do, I loosen the drag a lot. I shut the bail so that it's easy to pull that line out. This is gonna be a little bit of a chore to do this while it's windy. Not bad though. So just want you guys to see, this is what I use. It's a 20 pound test, Maxima Ultra Green. I like to use that for my bumper. So I'm gonna take probably, I don't know, eight feet, something like that, take it off of there. I'm gonna tie it to my main line of the braided line. It's probably gonna be really hard for you guys to follow this with all the wind blowing around, but you make a loop with that go through the loop <laughs> this is gonna be horrible I'm gonna have to just make this knot and not show you guys how to do it <laughs> not show you all right so now I've got this 20 pound test line got it all the way to the very end of my line do a little loop knot there and then I'm gonna do every couple feet I'm gonna do like a loop knot and then I'm gonna put a hook on it for some uh, some of those gulp sandworms. All right, boys and girls, my two ounce coin weight. Got some hooks, a little bit of leader there. We're gonna walk out here and see what kind of fish are in the sea. I've always heard people say there's lots of fish in the sea. Right, this wind is probably going to be my main problem here today. A lot of wind. Who knows? Maybe it's going to be great. Pretty big surf too, so I can't really stand too far out here. Big waves will come up and smack me in the water. Oh, look at that. Look at that big wave. That's going to knock me over. Come on now. Don't knock me over. Whoa. Woohoo. Good thing I got big waders on. Knocking me way back. Come on now. That's a lot of power. 
might be in a little bit too deep for that. It only came up to middle of my belly, but holy cow, it was like stacked with two or three waves in one. I don't know if I like that. You see now, I'm in like ankle deep water, same spot. Crazy. definitely a fun venue but I don't know that this is the right uh, conditions it's pretty gnarly out here I haven't felt comfortable standing out here yet oh guys this is definitely testing out definitely testing out these waders my belly would have been soaked five times by now. I've only been here for about five casts. I think I might have to go try the uh, jetty. Maybe there'd be a little bit more of a cover over there. This is not okay for me. So just as a little point of reference, the wind is bad enough it knocked my hat off my head. I had to go chasing down the beach after my hat. It's not very conducive to trying to surf perch fish, so let's see what else I can come up with today. Might be fun. sketchy coming down here though to be careful all right everybody here we go this is what I got a little bit of a number two torpedo weight you know sand shrimp a couple of little of these camouflage gulp worms just gonna huck it out there and see who what happens Since the tide's coming in, I'm back here safe with all my gear. I think I want to take a little walk as far out as I can. If I start getting washed around by the water, then I'll turn around. It'd be kind of interesting to come out here a little ways and see what's out here. So what I'm going to do is I'll cast. Cast a little ways out. I'll slowly work my way over there. Pretty slippery though, even with the waders. All this little seaweed and kelp makes it kind of slippery. over 
over here on this rock, somebody's got some sand shrimp on it. So somebody was sitting there fishing today, probably. Hmm. Alright guys, I don't know if I'm in the right spot. If any of you guys know this area and you want to give me some pointers, let me know. I'm determined to figure out this fishery because it seems so fun. Something new, all that. Lots of reasons that you people want to try fishing spots. But I know I'm going to probably be screwing myself up trying to fish here. But I think I can fish both of these sides pretty easily, from what I can tell. We'll see. It's not very windy today, huh? Oh, it's really windy. <laughs> oh, you're on. <laughs> and what's the channel you got? Uh, driftwood fishing. Driftwood fishing. This guy's going to show me, kind of point me out some spots, show me the ropes a little bit, because I'm a newbie at this stuff, but... Oh. Man, okay, here we go. Jeez. Now that's, that wind's going to rip it all the way over here guys out there watching I snagged up and I ended up hooking my hook against the rocks but that's okay I got another hook we we're gonna get out there and catch one here momentarily I just gotta oh let me show you guys the way to I've never known how to do a, a sand shrimp but my friend here Chris the guy that owns the um, stabby Dave's he's he taught me how to hook them up so we are going to go through here and back through right there and sneak that through that hole and then one more time we're going to go right in here and we're going to bring it out right in the head area there now that's where you do it okay Just out past that rock line. Okay. Got a little seaweed, that's a start. At least I'm not fully skunked. There we go. <laughs> You're probably thinking, man, this is terrible fishing. <laughs> At least he's out here joining me even though he's he usually gets the cream of the crop timing and picking the right time i've been telling all the viewers they aren't wishing me enough luck they're just sitting there watching <laughs> like no wonder i'm not catching anything they need to call off the wind wish me some luck so i'm getting bit Oh geez, it's almost gone. They almost had the whole thing. <laughs> Michelle, good job. Down there. Oh, that's a good size little dude. Wonderful. Nice, look at that pretty looking fish. Are you keeping it or letting it go? I think I'm gonna let it go unless you want to eat them. No, I'll get another one. Oh, hey, I got one on. Probably the same one you just got. He's just really good at 
the So this is a, a green one and a female? Yep, yep. They kind of have like a tan kind of deathly look to them. And then uh, the, the males have to have like dark, uh, and they got like reds and blues and some kind of edge. It looks pretty cool. Wow, well, she's fat. I can feel a lot of fat in her. What a fish. Like if I didn't have fish uh, thawing out in my feet. Now that I've learned the way, I wish I was going to make a, uh, what do you think about this for a t-shirt? Say, Auto Magic Adventures and then put, it is the way on the bottom, like, like the Mandalorian. Oh shoot, nuggets. That was such a bite and I lost it all, he took it. Crap, okay. Yeah, it's on. I'm gonna have to go to the store and buy more bait though. I'm out of most. I get I got about three le two left. Oh good. Okay. Oh, this is so fun when you know what you're doing. Oh you got some, thank you. Hopefully they don't fall down there. As long as you got at least a piece of the shrimp on there too, uh, yeah, you can even uh, half of it. guys in half and just get uh, double your bait. Uh, but we're not we're not trying to find the first little bite, you know. Or like if it's kind of a slower day, I'll make it uh, the presentation as good as possible. Where I thread it through there, and make it run backwards. But once you're on them, just take a little piece down there. Just the second is will be problem. Okay. Yeah, I'm just I was just giving them too much, wasn't I? Look. Oh, dude, I just know the wind just cut out like Yeah. Yeah, time for a fishy. Come on, baby. Here's a bite. It's tapping it, but I don't know. Okay. Oh, there you go. Ooh, there we go. <laughs> wow, he's a good one. Look at that go. <laughs> oh, golly, he's fat. That's a big one. That is a huge link or a green one, dude. Good job. Oh, golly, you want it? I'll pass it. I don't want to place that fish in my fridge right now. but. Okay. Man, that's a good one. That's on for echelon right there. That is a good green thing. <laughs> oh. Alright guys. That's gonna be a cover photo right there. Thank you. Oh there you go. Good man, I had my GoPro going just in time. I love how airborne these guys are too. We found like a whole <laughs> we found like a perfect greenling patch here this is something i could get my wife to come down here and she would totally love fishing for this stuff too i think well we timed it all right then i guess <laughs> the sun just came out and it said time to fish <laughs> i think it's you i think you because <laughs> i'm out here just freezing and like hurting and when i almost lost my hat <laughs> It blew off of my head and then you show up and sun comes out. All right, guys, look at that. Sunshine's come out. We're catching fish. The tide's coming in. It's not even good yet. He says that in two or three hours is when it's going to get good. It's going to be epic. All right. They slid over to that side, huh? I'm sure they're all nice. over the place. I'm just being superstitious about this spot right here. <laughs> Another thing too with Greenling, uh, a lot of guys like to lip fish, uh, you know, like the, all the rock bass you can lip them. I would not lip one of these guys. They got some razor sharp little teeth. It won't cut you, but it ain't gonna feel good. But they okay. don't have any spines on them. That's why Greenling or uh, uh, Lincoln just love these things. So we'll them down any which way. Like, look at this, it does not hurt It's you. just so. Yep, so you wanna grab them like this. Almost, they are sea trout. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> I'll go get it on video if you can. 
Did it get stuck in there? Got one, little guy. Okay, that's cool though. This is probably the normal greenling size, huh? Uh, you get a little oh, oh, shoot! Don't! Did he... Get him? Okay, cool. He made it. He he lived a, he lived to bite another day. He gets to get bigger now. We'll catch him next week. Yeah. We'll come back and feed him once in a while. Keep him fed. I'm gonna see how many seconds it takes for me to get a bite on this one cast. Thousand one. Thousand two. Thousand three. Thousand four. Oh, I'm getting a bite. Oh, dang it, I ripped it out of his mouth. You suck. <laughs> I couldn't tell if that was a bite. I think it was. It was a fish. <laughs> it felt like I was stuck on something. It was their mouth. The and little cobber just munching. <laughs> oh boy, huh? Very nice. Yeah, yesterday I was fishing. Uh, okay, here we go. Ooh, look at that bad boy. <laughs> Woohoo, come. Uh oh. Don't get caught in the bottom. Dang! Oh. All right, we gotta reel down on him and lift. Holt, do you see that thing? That's tank. <laughs> I don't. I might have to keep him. He's got that hook so deep in there. You have hemostat, so he's he's definitely helping that situation. Okay, let's see if I can get him out. But not the worst uh, scenario too if you gotta keep Buddy. him. That's a good eater. <laughs> Dude, that is way in there. Just trying to like I can see the thing but I think I might have to eat this one. Broke the hook. Mm. Okay, I'm eating him. That's a good fish. That's a very good fish. Hey guys, we're eating this guy. Dang. Okay. Sorry. I, I should have left your pet fish in there. Now I got to figure out what to do with them. Walk them back up to the truck or the car, I guess. Yeah, I get so scared to like lose all my gear. I don't end up wanting to fish the gnarly spots. All right, I got. How many seconds? One, two. Oh, three and a half seconds. Oh, he spit, he spit it. I don't know. It wasn't huge, but dang, he spit. Oh, he broke me off. He was he was under a rock and he sheared it. Jeez, okay. Game on. If I can catch this guy again. Oops, hang on. Let me get out of your way. If I, oh, if I catch another one, I'm going to see if I can catch the one that took my my hook and my line. Let me get it back. I almost dove in after it. Oh, yeah, that tide's moving now. It's going out, moving around. Here we go. Oh, I'm getting, I'm getting a little trick, a little tickle, tickle, diddle, 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 diddle. little diddle, little. <laughs> that looked like he was pulling. Like, was it a rock? I think it was a rock. <laughs> no, come on, that was a big fish. Hey, look at that! Got another little guy. These things are so pretty. Ooh, hold on, buddy. What a cool fish. Guys, I don't know if you've ever done this or not, but it's easy. Go down to Staby Dave's. I think you'd have a blast. <laughs>
Go down there. Oh, <laughs> yeah, Stabby Dave's Newport. And uh, they'll hook you up, get you everything you need. The hooks are cheap, weights are cheaper. And uh, just get a couple dozen of these babies. Man, this is so fun. I don't know if you're watching me hook this up, but it's just super fun. I think I figured out I like to go through the side of the head. Right like that. It's a nice straight piece. It's funny because you can feel the bite. They're just hammering it tonight. Oh, see, I'm already getting let it sinky, sinky. There you go, it's on the bottom. And then just a little bit of jigging. <laughs> it's so crazy how much fun this is. Yeah, we're gonna walk over here for a second. <clears throat> Feel like a such uneven ground i'm like walking like i'm drunk or something you know what guys this is something i think i'd be worth talking about um when i was in here fishing this fishing hole it's in the right spot pretty close it's a little bit further over no big deal but i'm out here fishing it's windy it's raining it's sucky out I'm not catch anything and then all of a sudden, somebody that's done it before, a good friendly face, you know, somebody that's been there and experienced doing this kind of fishing. But for me, it just made a big difference. Made me want to keep trying. Made me have a little more confidence that I wasn't doing it wrong, all that kind of stuff. I don't know, something about that is important. So, Mr. Chris Wood from Stabby Days, Stabby Days. <laughs> Definitely, uh, he pulled me out of the brink of ready to go home. It's probably skunk today. And helped me catch some fish. So it's been pretty awesome. Huge shout out to him. I'm not going to tell him I said that until he sees the video. <laughs> Here he comes. Hey. Let's see if I can... Oh. That's a pretty good one, too. Jeez, just when I thought it was over, look at that, guys. Oh, we got a double. <laughs> I'm gonna let him go. There's no reason to hang on to him tonight. Let's see this. Oh, wow. Like the blue, yeah, I see the blue speckles on his sides. Kind of a darker hue, too. Good. <laughs> you didn't want to let that one go very easily, did you? No. <laughs> there it goes. There he is. Nice. Mr. Mr. Ling. <laughs> Doesn't feel very big, but it just ripped my pole out of my of my hand. Look at that tiny little guy. <laughs> oh, it is a is that a ling? Oh, no, that guy's a. Uh, That's a baby. Uh... Oh, he's he's another little green ling. Oh, he's not. <laughs> oh, I thought he was one of those ones you get in the ocean. Uh, so like uh, the green uh, the ling kind of have a really big uh, like their their front kind of fins are gonna be a lot bigger. And uh, have like really gigantic uh, and like they're spiked. It's so much easier if I just grab this with my pliers. <laughs> That's what I was just doing in, uh, while you were recording the like, oh, Alright. I'm using, this is getting more and more lucky as I go. Adding the fish slime on my shirt sleeves. Man, look at that. That's a cool, he's got the sunset behind him. He's got a bent rod. A little jetty fishing. Nice! That's a hog! Wow! Let's see that beauty. That's so pretty. Ooh, very nice. I don't even think I'm going to show the first part of my video where I'm out sucking. 
over there on the beach. Oh, well, maybe I'll do a real quickie, like show them how sucky it is, and then say we decided to fish inside the jetty. <clears throat> I went and asked some of the expert fishermen in the area and they said exactly when to go out and it will stop being windy and gross. It'll just be beautiful out. Okay everybody, got me a little uh, right at uh, sundown. A little ocean trout. Is that what you call them? Ocean trout? A little sea trout. Thank you for playing, my friend. <laughs> Alright, viewers. Chris, I, I told him he can't leave until he, he... Just one more fish, not one more cast. So He's probably just going to hook one within the first few seconds. I think he threw it right in the strike zone. Ooh, I'm, I'm getting bit. I feel bad, though. He's been up running the, the shop for all day long and make him come out here and skip lunch or dinner hopefully there'll be some dinner when you get home left yes. oh golly i got i did a little steelhead hook set right there and tiny little bite and i ripped everything out of its mouth all right we're still waiting here oh we should do a live out here <laughs> you ever do that i haven't done that yet but That'd be a fun, like, have somebody filming us live out here. Okay, he's got all bent up. A bunch of seaweed. Oh, there's a fishy in it. <laughs> the lengths he goes to catch his last fish. He had to dri drive it right through all the... Just horse him in. <laughs> Look like you're on a bass tournament. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's awesome. I probably won't stay much later than you. If you, actually, if you're done, I'll probably be done too. It's been, a, it's been a damn good day. <laughs> yeah, it's been lights out fishing out here. Oh, well, guys, that was super fun. Got to have some good times, get to meet a new guy, a new fisherman. Guy's just as wild about fishing as I am, I think. Yeah, I think I'm going to get out of here because the tide's coming in, which is going to be good for fishing. I might try a couple more spots and then go home. I've definitely had fun being out here fishing though. Hope you guys try this. All right guys, thanks for watching today. Um, hopefully you guys had some entertaining uh, moments in that video. I hope I was able to show you a few things, probably some stuff. I don't know if you guys know how to do the kind of fishing I was doing, but if you did enjoy it, please uh, let me know in the, in the comments. Um, man, my hands are cold, that's why I'm rubbing them. Uh, yeah. Let me know if you liked the video. Um, I had a good time making it. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. Uh, make sure you subscribe if you're not already there yet. Again, all the subscribers that are still watching my channel, thanks for being dedicated. You guys are awesome. Um, I'll see you guys later.